So you start the thread. And then like tie in the eyes like by the point. How I started my thread. <laughs> Where? <laughs> And then did that. Where, where'd you get your little bitty eyes? Feathercraft. The bee. Feathercraft. Feathercraft? Yeah. Hmm. And then. It looks like a really heavy wire to him. Yeah, it's just the. It's 1x strong. 1x strong? Yeah. Okay, so that makes it, yeah. Size 14. They are yeah, what yeah. size hook is it? A size 14. What's the number on the die you just? 060. 060. That okay. is a 1x long, 1x strong, if I remember right. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. Out of business. Yeah. Yeah. But you can still get that size hook if you know it's a 1x, 1x. I bought um, 200 of the um, die one number 12. Yeah. 300s for tackle backs. Yeah. About 250. Nice. Now, what did you just put on and how many strands? So, it's the midge flash and then you fold it twice and then you fold it over the hook. So, it's about eight. So, you're doing like four strands folded in half. Yeah. And yeah. Is there any specific measurement just now? Uh, hook length, maybe hook a little length, bit smaller. Hook length, shape length. Okay. Yeah. And we. And I noticed the color of your thread. Is that an intended thread, or just happen to be what's on your bobbin? Um, yeah, it can be orange, um, for a hot spot, or just tan. And you're tying a crayfish. So crayfish, when they're orange, they're kind of molting. Is that somewhat what you're trying to imitate? This is supposed to be like when I when I've lifted up rocks for like nymph fishing, or just looking at nymphs, and I've noticed that these hatchling crays are mostly white. And then they have the orange tipped claws and they have like a little orange bloodline. So not necessarily molting. So you, what you're calling a hatchling cray is oh. like a brand new guy? Yeah, there is like oh. that pattern called the hatchling cray. That it's like a hatchling crawdad or something that's actually called that. I I don't think many of our watchers have really heard that phrase before. But it's like I like fishing this behind like a woolly bug or something because so when, you're stripping this. Yeah, sometimes dead floating. Um, okay, under an indicator, a depth uh, or a drag in the bottom. It like usually you're fishing something heavier and then it floats a little bit above it. Okay. And um, it's supposed to, like when uh the crawdads first hatch, they kind of hang out behind their mother's tail. When they're eggs and when they're like this kind of small. Okay. And some of them get like taken away from the tail. So there's kind of drifting behind them. Like maybe if the current or yeah. something like that knocks them away from their their uh, caretaker and they get caught up and that's when they become prey. Mm -hmm. So that okay. was what you just put on there was what? The claws. That was the claws. Yeah. And what is the claws made from? Uh, hen hackle. A uh, hen hackle in a tannish color. Yeah. And it's just about uh, hook length and gap again. And well, that, maybe half the... And what is this? This is Antron in cream color. Um, a one strand folded over. Mm -hmm. Wrap it in front of the eyes. Where'd you get this pattern at? Is this your invention? Your yeah. creation? So you did create this? Yeah. And it's been successful for you all summer long? Summer, yeah. It's usually like in a trout park or some place that gets fished heavily, mm -hmm. and they just haven't seen anything like this. Like this, yeah. I see. So, what made you go for this? Because you picked up a rock and found these little bitty crayfish in there, and you said, "Hey, I, I it looks like something I'd eat." Or, um, looks like. That's crazy. That's cool. 
no one seems like to ever think of that. I've seen like little small crayfish, like size mm -hmm. tens. Yeah. But I've never seen like a nymphing, and they've got like that clouser crawdad that people nymph. Yeah. But it's not something that's like super small that like a trout could pick up and not actually a bass. Mm -hmm. Right. Is that group of fly thunder on the back? Yeah, the little antenna is like it's the midge flash though. I feel like the the original stuff's kind of too big. And you you're just kind of working this as dubbing all the way yeah, through all the way. to a nice tapered body. I noticed you the only weight that you put on would be the eyes, and that's to where the hook will ride up. Yeah, like the clouser. Okay. What kind of dubbing was that that you put on? This is a hair tran hair tron okay. uh, in a light gray. Light gray. Again, you're going for the color to match the prototype. Sometimes I'll tie it with a pearl ice dub instead okay. of the regular. Oh. Have you found which one was a little more successful in dirty water, clear water? It's uh, it's kind of just read the trout really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tying the, uh, what, what was it, the Clouser's minnow or, or uh, crayfish? Yeah. That thing is uh, pretty darn complicated. Where I like your pattern, it's uh, simplified, but it really does look effective. Yeah, it's like, it works down at mineral. I've had, well, it's kind of small. Okay, to catch, I'm going like, to have to cut that yeah. out. I can't put that on the video, them secret fishing points. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, points like Mineral Point. Mineral, mineral Gravoy Creek. Yeah, we, we don't want to let everybody Gravoy Creek. Okay, we'll <laughs> talk about that one. <laughs> now, mineral, like, mineral Park is an amazing smallmouth place. And yes, um, that's all it is. Anything. It's anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're not like that. We, we share the everything. <laughs> Oh, I like what you're doing there. So you're pulling them out on the sides. Yeah. You know, it's like a dragonfly. About it. Yeah. And that's about it. So this is Mike's crayfish. Yeah. Mike E's. Mike E's, not Mike's, because yeah. I'm the Mike and he's the Mike E. We got to make that clear now. This is Mikey's crayfish. And it's his creation and his way of fishing it. And you mostly strip it. Am I yeah. correct in that? Yeah. So it's Find like throw it out, let it sink, and let it work through the current, They'll through usually, the rock, into plunge pools yeah. and stuff. They'll usually take it when the heavier fly hits the bottom. Yeah. And that's when they take it. Oh, nice. And it's just a good hard pull, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. All right.